It's often been said that laughter is the best medicine, although this has never been scientifically proven. My name is Freeman Gunnarsson and through my work as a journalist I have dissected the human soul and answered many of life's mysteries. Few could maintain that Nordic comedy can measure up with the refined sense of humour I got to know through my cultural upbringing in Great Britain, the mecca of comedy. Finding sense of humour of such quality in the Nordic spectrum seems highly unlikely. Or does it? My name is Freeman Gunnarsson and I make sense. Sense of humour. England, the United Kingdom, my home away from home, the cultural womb of the educated world that nurtured me and brought me up to become the refined man of the world I am today. The home of the genius comedy of Benny Hill, the countless hilarious carry-on movies and the critically acclaimed television series Allo Allo. England is on a very different scale in every aspect. So I couldn't believe my luck to have stumbled upon the website of the Strawberry Talent Agency. I was surprised not to have heard of them before since they represent an impressive roster of talent. With ease, they managed to line up interviews with all the names I threw at them. Legends such as Sir John Cleese and Stephen Fry, to name only two. At Strawberry Talent's urging, I agreed to start my journey through British comedy by meeting a relatively unknown young comedian named Matt Berry. Having never heard of him, I was reluctant at first. But seeing that it might be a good idea to start with an up-and-coming comedian, I agreed to it in the end. This was a decision I would immediately regret. I'm gonna meet all these great big names. John Cleese. You're meeting John Cleese? Stephen Fry, yeah. Wow, I know John. John's a really nice guy. Really? We have the same agent, so you know, we meet for dinner and things. That was incredible. All the names I really need, wanted to meet are all from one agency. All from one agency. Yeah, yeah, you know, that's the way it works. What's the name of the show, sorry? Oh, it's, it's really a clever name. It's, uh, <laughs> it's I Make Sense of humour. I have no doubt we will sell it to every country in Scandinavia. And it's like, so we it will get yeah. Just Scandinavia? Yes. Uh, are you under the influence of, of these classical comedians like John and... Well... Or Sir John? I don't know. I mean, I'm not... Excuse me. No problem. Everything that I do, uh, all the work that I've done, my approach is not to be funny. Oh, well, I'm not sure if you're in the right profession then. <laughs> if <you're, laughs> yeah. It really matters how you tell a joke. And it can help to go into these stereotypes. Then the audience will kind of understand where you're going with it. What's the date? What's today's date? What's the year? Uh, 2010. Okay, so it's not 1950s. No, obviously not. Okay, you not. just basically described some comedy from the 1950s. And you're, you're, of course, you're, you're trying to break the mold. You know, I respect that, but, but you can't really dis disrespect the, the great names, you know. I kind of feel I can disrespect the great names. Oh, you feel, oh, I mean, of course, people will not learn that much from you because you haven't done that much. But you will understand later, then maybe you will look back and you think, I'm very happy with his career, and not only you, but the Queen also. Right. Well, no, you'd probably get on with the Queen. I, I, I have often thought about You look about a bit that. like one of her sons. Wow. <laughs> That's well, a, you know, you well, certainly which one, kind of which dress one? like them. The one who's losing his hair. Obviously, you're wearing a wig, but, um, I mean, he might wear a wig at one point. I don't know. Okay. I wasn't meant to mention that, was I? But, like, what? that you're wearing a wig. Okay, this is it. <laughs> but I thought that's part of your act. This is not an act. Here. This is a serious show. It's okay, a serious show about comedy. I, I think, I think actually, I am more British in many ways than you are. Well, you look funnier than I do. Um, what? I don't understand. You, you know nothing about drama. As I had known all along, 
This was a bad idea from the start. You never know what to expect from this new breed of so-called young comedians. Unbelievable. George Bernard Shaw once said, youth is wasted on the young. How right he was. But never mind, I was on my way to meet Sir John Cleese. This is what it was all about. All the travel, all the mindless chatter just seemed to fade away. Oh, Sir John. Oh, yes. right. Yeah. You want to come this way? Yeah, thank you. Hey. Wait, wait. What are you doing here? No, 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 no. What, um, what's he doing here? No, he, Where's John? He can't be here. He sent me. He wouldn't send a hooligan. Who, who's this guy? Why did no, no, no. he? Why he, is he here? He doesn't know anything about this. Case. He sent you. Yeah, yeah. John Cleese. Yeah, John Cleese. Why? Because he can't be here. Just sit down, and we'll talk about yeah, it. Yeah, don't touch me. I shouldn't have said the things about, you know, your clothes and the other thing. Yeah, well... Uh, if I was to come into a pub, you know, and I was dressed, you know, and looked the way you did, you would think it was a joke. I've been very stressed. My wife's pregnant, and the oh. house is, a, is in a hell of a state. There's, there's clothes all over the floor. Yesterday, you were clearly very upset. Yeah, well... And if you're upset, very John's awkward. upset. And if John's upset, you know, then I'm upset. You talked about this with him? For about three hours. You know, I can see, you know, that you're, you know, a learned man. <laughs> yeah, and I well... I may have yeah. misjudged you. Well... Anyway, <laughs> let's totally forget it. Let's just put it all behind us. John wants me to give you a comedy tour of London. John what? usually does it, but he's entrusted me to do it on this occasion. A comedy tour? Yeah. Of London? Of London. I'll take you to all the well-known comedy spots. Oh, okay, that, that sounds quite interesting. Uh, yeah. And then we'll meet up with John. Definitely. Well, I mean, your wife and all, so then... Wife? Whose wife? Well, your wife. You, you just I'm not said married. She, I thought you said that she was pregnant. Your wife. I never said anything like that, no. I'm probably misunderstood something, but... I'll take your order. Well, hold on. Sylvia? You don't remember me? Tell me something, Sylvia. How's my brother's bastard son? What? So you don't remember that either? Running away with my brother and having a bastard son with him. Can you believe that's what this woman did? I'm not Sylvia. I think you've got the wrong person. Brilliant job. Well done. I'll see you later on. What? That was an act. Sorry? She's one of my students. That was an act. Oh, God. That's how good I am. That was an act? That was an act. Oh, God! I would, my heart was like, boom, 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 what, I uh, what, tell. what have I stepped yeah. into here? <laughs> yeah, yeah. She was good. Very good. Yeah, I believed her also. Absolutely, she's one of the best. Nine times out of ten, I'd get to work my piece into it, but not this time. Was that a... was that a pistol? What? Was that real? <laughs> no, 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 no. There was no denying that this young man had talent. I have to admit, since matters were starting to move into the right direction and Sir John was just around the corner, that a comedic tour around London sounded quite interesting. Yeah. Have you seen the film uh, The Life of Brian? Yeah, the Monty Python one. Exactly. Yeah. That's where it was actually filmed here with John Cleese, oh. Marlon Brando, Michael Palin, all of them up there. Really? Was, was Brando in it? Do you know where, where John was standing? It would be at the top there. These would have stood about here. He was standing here? Yeah, I think Marlon Brando was here, where he could have been further apart. A few of the Carry On films were made here. Really? Yeah. I love those. They are, they are so good. You can't walk on this bit because there's people buried underneath here. Oh, in real life? Yeah. But then they shot movies here? Yeah. They filmed Carry On Cleopatra here. Wow, really? Obviously, yeah. But are these statues, are they real? Yeah, they're real. They're from Egypt. You see the signs here? Do you, do you know what they say? Well, I wouldn't pay attention to the one that's spray-painted because it looks like it's a cock. No, I'm talking about these signs. Oh, those? The... I don't know what they mean. Oh. Friends, Romans, countrymen. A Shakespeare? Yeah, yeah, ah. like that. <laughs> yeah, Julius Caesar. Exactly. Oh, that was good. That was some acting. Horse, a horse, a kingdom for a horse. Yeah, that's a different play, but that's good. <laughs> yeah. Is this a dagger I see before me? Do it again, and this time take that hand out of your pocket. This one? Use that hand, and you're not actually grabbing the dagger. You're just seeing an image of the dagger in front of you. Do it again. Is this a dagger 
I see before me. Is this a dagger I see before me? Oh wow, that was good. Yeah. <laughs> so from there. Actually, I'm, I I look at myself as a kind of a. What, what were you putting there? Just over there. Yeah, that, that way. Yeah, there's a couple of things to look at up there. The yeah. tour was very informative and extremely exciting. Not only did Matt surprise me repeatedly with his vast knowledge of British comedy history, but he also wasted no opportunity to show off his enormous talent and amazed me again and again with the realism of his art. So, what's this place then? What do you mean? Well, wh wh what's this? Why are we here? No, I'm just getting some vodka. Oh! Oh, no, no, no. Is, I thought it was part of the... No, it is, yeah. Um, this is where... Peter Sellers used to come. And he came to this place? Yeah, here? yeah. He came here to meet Laurence Olivier because they were having an affair in this shop. I love Sir Laurence Olivier. He, right. he was so good. He was, everything he did was, was just dramatic genius, almost. Is, is it safe? Sorry? Is it safe? Uh, there, there's no safe here. Is it safe? Oh, God. Matt, it's okay. It's it's not real. It's not a real gun. It's, it's a real gun. What? Matt, Matt, sorry. Shut the fuck up. What? Is it safe? I have cash. You're gonna piss your pants? I, I have cash. Brilliant. This was an act. This was an act. Oh, God! It's pretty good, huh? Come on, let's go. He's an actor. He's great. Are you? He's an actor? Yeah, 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 yeah. Of course he is. You were good. I'm calling police. Jesus, that was good. You're okay now? Yeah, yeah. Okay, good, good. I needed a piss. Okay, so... You said there was something here? Yeah, there's something really important. Okay, well... That we need to see. I'm just trying to remember whereabouts it is. I think it's over there. I bring my tent here sometimes, just there. What? A couple of times this week I bought my tent. Oh, really? You yeah. go camping here? Yeah, here, yeah. Is that allowed? I don't know. I, I haven't asked anyone, but it's oh. something I do. Well, I suppose it's a nice... Place, you know, but don't bother looking at the stuff up there because it's all sort of worn away. But that's oh. um, Peter Sellers' grave. He's buried here, actually. Yeah, that's his gravestone. What are all these names? Were well, they just the names of his characters? Oh. He's here. Who? Peter. He's he's where? He stood next to me. He says he's very pleased to meet you, at last. <laughs> is he telling a joke? Yeah, he is, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Can I repeat? No, no, OK. He, he doesn't want me to repeat it. It was quite rude. Oh, oh it would have been so much fun to hear it. I understand, though. You can tell him I understand. He says he understands. Do you want to uh, ask him anything while you're here? Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, how did he prepare his, his French accent for, for Inspector Clouseau? He didn't. Uh, what? He didn't prepare? He didn't prepare. Oh, it was excellent. Does he hear me? He said it was excellent. Yeah, it was. What's so, that you say? Hang on a second. Yeah. What did you say? He's asking me why you did that thing in the swimming pool 20 years ago. He says that you will know what he's talking about. I don't know what he's talking about. He's denying it, Peter. It wasn't wrong at that time. Can you tell him that? He doesn't think it's wrong. It wasn't wrong at the time. It, it didn't... He thinks otherwise. Let me just stop here. Stop here. I have to admit that cemeteries have always made me a bit uneasy. At the end of this enlightening tour, Matt had to tend to other business, so we parted ways. I didn't hear from Matt after this, so I decided to take matters into my own hands. The best idea was to go myself to the Strawberry Talent Agency and sort out my interviews with Sir John and the others. The only trouble was that the address I had seemed to be incorrect. Could it be that I had gotten it wrong? Or had they maybe moved? Something wasn't right.
Hi there, my name's Matt Berry. You people may not know me, but here in the UK, I'm a very well-respected dramatic actor. Unfortunately, Freeman Gunnison was unable to finish this episode, so I took it upon myself to finish this episode. Okay, does it work? Is it on? An unfortunate victim of an unsolved hit and run, Freeman found himself without a cameraman. Luckily, by sheer coincidence, I got news of the terrible situation and came to Freeman's aid. I lent my assistance and provided him with a cameraman to finish the episode. Wow. <laughs> got a new cameraman. So we can carry on with the film. What? No. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, it's... Uh... <laughs> You're saying that you don't want to go to John Cleese's house? We're gonna go there? Yeah. Now? Right now. To meet him? Yep. I, I should change, shouldn't I? What? I should change, shouldn't I? <laughs> yeah, yeah. But we need to go now. You can do it in the van. Okay. I, uh, I should probably call his wife. Well, okay, no, let's go. Wow. <laughs> no, it's one of these. Uh, one of these nice ones. Uh, it's that one. Oh, over there. Oh, no, yeah. We'll have to go around the back. Okay. Is he, he's not here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. It's obviously got, got its history. It's got... Shh, shh, shh. What? Everything's okay? Ah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. He knew we were coming. Yeah. Okay, great. There's his cat food for his cats. Oh, he has cats. Monty and Python. That's where he makes his tea. I uh, can't believe it's... So this is where he does his tax. Right here? Yeah. I don't know who they are. They're probably distant cousins. Well, you know, he's you know very sort of private, so he wouldn't put himself on the wall. That's his printer? Yeah. This is the main room. Yeah, this is, uh, yeah, this is where he does everything. He wrote 40 Towers there on that piano. How did he do that? You know, it's, he works by vibrations, and all of his ideas are done on the piano and on the recorders. Really? Yeah, these are all his Python scripts, and he's written them in French and Italian. Why? In case they didn't want them in English. Do you think he would mind if I would like read one, or, or just just what? go through it? Just no, don't touch anything, because he'll know. Okay. You know, no. <laughs> it's quite kind of funny about that sort of thing. Yeah, yeah. I have to say, I expected something bigger. Well, but... this is the guy's bedroom. You know, he's a very modest man. Yeah. Is he here? No, he's not here yet. So here's where he sleeps. Yeah, that's where he sleeps, and that's where he washes his face. Those are his jeans and his jumpers. Oh, God. Yeah, that's how he smells. Hey, why don't you try the bed? What? Try the bed. No, really? Yeah, yeah, go on. Well, it's actually not, not that soft. It's, he's probably got a weak back or something. Here he lies, watching the ceiling, thinking, pondering, some some genius stuff going through his mind. Oh, I'm I'm really nervous meeting him now. Is he? I mean, is he a nice guy to talk to? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, he's cool. Well, do you know what you're going to say to him? Uh, I've got it kind of. Yeah. Well, why don't just why don't you ask me? Why don't I pretend to be John and you be you? Why don't you practice on me? Well, that that's not a bad bad idea. You you know him. You know yeah, how he, he would react. Absolutely. Uh, why did you come up with this idea about this hotel in Torquay? Back in the early 70s, I stayed in a bedroom in a hotel in Torquay. <laughs> it's like you're channeling him. That's it's what actually, it feels like. Yeah. What, what, what are your fam favorite movies, Mr. Cleese? My favorite movies are Fierce Creatures and Clockwise. Uh, his own movies. Do you remember the first? So Someone's here. Ah. Oh. What the hell's going on here? Hello, darling. Look, it's my wife. What are you doing wife. in my house? Who Come the on. hell are you? No, 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 no. Come back here, darling. I want you to meet my friend. No, 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 no. What the hell are you Wait. doing in my, my house? Friend. Meet my friend. Hi. We, we would like you to meet my friend. What are you doing in my house? We were, gonna, get we were here for your house. Get Where are you going? I'm calling the police. What? Is everything okay? No, we should go. What? Let's go. What was Let's that? It's nothing. It's nothing. She's crazy. She looks scared. Nah, nah, nah. nah. Who, who was that? Who was that woman? That was no one. Sorry? That was my wife. Was that your wife? What wife? Wasn't that John's wife? John's wife. Oh, wait. Who are you now? Sorry? Who are you now? Who do you think I am? 
Are you mad? Now, are you... Yeah. I demand to see your agent. Okay. Yeah, I was, I was looking for the agency. The, the address I had, nothing was there. Okay, let's go. Where? Um, he's going to send me a text message to tell me exactly the new address, because they've just moved. As soon as I get that text message... Well, I mean, we'll... I know it's round here. Okay. Okay, lead the way. As I found out later, John was abroad, in his home in California. This was very unfortunate for poor Freeman, but the blame was entirely on John's agent, David. David is an old dog who's been in the business for a long time and has represented some of the biggest names in British comedy and drama. I, I'm very sorry about, uh, about John. You know, he's been abroad a lot and, and he's been away. I, I couldn't even find your office I was when, I, when I needed it. Sure. I'm sorry about John. I, I, I hope you've been in the hands of, of, of Matt, who's, who's looked after you. And, and yes, sure. He took me on tour. And, good. I mean, I'm an extremely, extremely talented um, man, Matt. I mean, my best client, I'd, I'd say. Your um, best client? Yeah. <laughs> well, you actually got quite big names. Sure, sure. I, no, no, absolutely. But, he, I mean, he's up and coming. I mean, he's a great dramatic actor. He's, he's getting more and more work and, uh, and better and better. Yeah, he's, um, been, he's been showing me bits and pieces. Sure. In all fairness, that's not why I came here. Really, I, I, I was but really looking forward to meeting, you know, the big names. But he's <laughs> going to be, a, you know, a, a big name of the future. He's, uh, yeah, 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 well, yeah. Proper Stanislavski in the actor. Yeah, but this, this show takes place today. OK, what he's trying to say is, where's Stephen Fry? Where's John Cleese? Where's Peter Sellers? Where? What? How can he meet Peter Sellers? You're not giving him any answers. I'm noticing that, and no. that's embarrassing me. Look, I, I, I'm, I'm sorry. Right, I've, I've got... I, 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 put your hands on your head. Matt, is this an act? What are you doing here, Matt? Do what I say. Is this another act? Shut up. Matt, this is not the time for this. Yes, you're a very good actor, Matt. That's Keep very... your hands on your well fucking done. head. Well done. I'm out of here. Hold yeah. on, hold on. Not the gun again, Matt. Matt. Is your name even David? <laughs> is that your real name? No, my name's Jeff. <laughs> Hey, See? Don't shoot me. Okay, I've had it. I'm Come gone. back. Come back. I've had it, Matt. God. Oh, fucking hell. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? Look, he's an actor. Give him a, give him a clap. <laughs> Look, he's fine. He's fine. He just looks dead. When inspired, David can be quite persistent in his own acting and he finds it unsettling to come out of character in front of the audience. Freeman can hardly be blamed for getting caught up in it, but I assured him it was indeed all an act. I talked to David the next day, and he told me how pleased he was and how well the performance went. Shortly after, he went on vacation to America and sent me a photograph of himself. This took place after the scene in his office, in case anyone is still in any doubt of the authenticity of the act. Freeman Gunnarsson was extremely pleased with his trip to England and everything he had gotten out of it. He even decided to stay for a few extra days to witness and participate in a few of my performances. Where the fuck is Mick After his comedy trek of Scandinavia and England, Freeman felt he needed a long vacation. Who can blame him? Where do you go after such ventures into the world of comedy and drama? If you like what you've seen, why not get in touch with my talent agency? at strawberry74 at hotmail.com. My name's Matt Berry, and I make sense. Sense of humour. before that you needed to go to the toilet. Well, I can take you to a tree where you can do your uh, number ones or number twos, whatever uh, no, it is. <laughs> I'm not sure if I'm comfortable with that. Not, not I here. mean, I can stand here while you do it. So no one... No, isn't that... I mean, that's, that's just disrespectful. Actually, in, in my uh, youth, we said we had another word for number two because we thought number two was just kind of rude. Do you ever swear? Do you ever no. say words like fuck or cunt? No, no, no. Have you ever said the word cunt? Not that I can recall, no, no. Do you want to say it now? No. It's okay. 